What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Question comes from Luke. I've been watching your videos recently and wondered if you could help me with something. I can help you. You see, I've been a member at three different gyms over the course of the past three years and recently discovered that I don't, just don't get on with them. I suffer from extreme anxiety and more often and more then often become very conscious about my overall body shape, which is ridiculous, I know, because everyone's at the gym to improve. Not only that, but I've been made to feel quite intimidated by certain members before, too. Alas, because of this, I've decided the only way to get around this is training from home. I recently looked into buying a barbell weight set, but don't really know how, know where to start or what is acceptable for me to get. Do you think you can give me some advice on training from home? Apologize if this is something you get asked on a daily. I just don't know what to ask you. I actually don't really get asked this much. And I don't want to seem insensitive. But, you know, by training at home, you're avoiding an issue that I think you need to meet head on. Which is being afraid. Being afraid of being different. Being afraid of whatever it is you're afraid of. You know, you're afraid of, you're being intimidated by other gym members. You're doing this, you're doing that. Look, you go to the gym to improve. Put your headphones in and get it done. At the end of the day, look, I like training at home. I did train at home for, when I was at Weeder for three years, I had my gym, in my, my home gym in my garage in Silmar. I'll tell you what I did. I did make gains. But here's why I love machines. My joints were fucked up. Fucked up from training them with all free weights. I love machines, I love overloading muscle. At the end of the day, man, my lower back from doing all free weights and no machines was fucked up. It just was, all right? There was too much, um, I mean, it was just too fucking much. It was too much, and at the end of the day, I needed a change, I joined a gym. Now, you have anxiety, that's great, and you're intimidated by other gym members, I mean great in a non-great way. You know, you just have to get over that. What if that requires going to see a therapist or what? Or just self-affirmation. At the end of the day, you can't avoid social situations. You can't afford the gym. You sound like a fucking Planet Fitness member, dude. You gotta get over it, man. Be a fucking alpha. You're a dude. Fucking go in there and train. I know that's hard to say. Look, I started at the gym. I was a fat fuck. You know, I got in there, I paid my dues, and I trained. I don't know what kind of gyms you're going to. Intimidated? I mean, I go to fucking LA Fitness. Dude, women go there, man. You gotta get over it. I don't know what's going on. Cover up if you have to. Wear a fucking sweatshirt and some sweats. I mean, here's my fear. You get this home gym, and you're still, you're not addressing the problem. The issue is your social awkwardness, your social ineptitude, and your avoidance of the situation. That's why I think if you're truly that messed up, that will require seeing a therapist. I'm not saying this jokingly. I'm not saying this, it's not a game, you know? It's not a fucking game. This is something that you need to deal with and you need to work out with yourself. The fact that you feel awkward in a situation surrounded by people training. Um, everybody's trying to get better. Go to the gym and get your thing. The fact that three different gyms you had issues with, that's scary. And that's something I would definitely address with a therapist or someone more qualified on a different pay grade than me to answer, all right? But if you are gonna train from home, it's pretty fucking simple. A power rack, uh, incline, decline, and flat bench, a barbell with weights up to, I, I, I had weights up to 700 pounds, and power blocks, they go up to 125 pounds. There's your fucking home gym. You can pretty much do everything with that. But like I said, over time, it took me about three years, my back was fucking fried, man. My joints were like, please God, give me some hammer strength equipment. So my advice for you, sir, is to address your problem. Don't put a Band-Aid over a shotgun wound, all right? Get out there and find the issue and get into the guts of it and fix what's wrong. And right now, it's not the gym that's wrong. It's not training at the gym. It's your, it's your social issues that need to be addressed. I'm Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Because going to the gym and making gains, despite being surrounded by a bunch of pricks, that's not a game. Hey!